Uh, there's definitely the ACC. Um, uh, us coming in, Syracuse, Notre Dame, and then uh, Louisville next year. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard not to say the best conference when you had a team that are already there. Um, but uh, now we just have to live up to it as a whole. Uh, get, get as many teams in the tournament as possible and just win as many games. Uh, obviously, Trey and Steve are gone. What's the test? Lamar, how's the team different this year without those guys? Uh, it's definitely different. Uh, Trey, he was our leader. He was, uh, he was our captain. Uh, now me and, me, me and Talib, I still have to that boy. Um, uh, Steve, uh, he, he was just a big, big body. Uh, he, was, he was, uh, was a hard worker. And, uh, uh, whenever he was on the court, he, just, he had to work hard because you know, he didn't you know, kick your butt because he was working hard. Uh, it's just, uh, I'm definitely going to miss those guys. But uh, as college, the guys are coming. Um, it's just, you know, we miss we miss the training speed. Um, and you forget about Don Jason, um, because we came together with Don Jason. Um, but you know, Trey being there, you know, he's a good leader. Um, he led us every day, just being in this season, you know, he's a kid there. So um, he has a lot of experience, so he tells us, you know, what we have to do with this because, you know, he's been here for a long time. Um, and then Steve is just, you know, somebody who you know, he's all strong. And, I mean, I've had Steve like every day in practice, so it was, it was really tough for me. But, um, yeah, um, you know, it's a, uh, we do really miss the guys. Question later. Uh, Mark Armstrong with the AC 11 in Raleigh. I was struck by the fact that you guys both said you need to change the way a kid plays basketball coming into a new league rather than making the teams you play adjust to you guys. Is, is that what Coach is saying? That you need to change your style? Uh, I didn't necessarily say change completely. Uh, Tweet a little bit, get up and down, and some more going on. But uh, like you said, uh, team wanted to adjust us also. Um, uh, team, I'm sure team not just going to be wanting to get pushed around. Uh, and um, when we do our drills and blackout drills, that's all we do is push each other around. So uh, it's going to be nice to go out there and play with other people for once. But, uh, but um, uh, like you said, uh, they're going to have to adjust to us also. Tempo a little bit, so, so we're not getting outran and stuff like that. Mike Salarto, 14 Carolina. What's the one thing, this is for both of you guys, what's the one thing about pit basketball that ACC fans don't know yet? It's really one stuff. Um, just being physical, um, we, you know, we, we don't take you know, stuff for granted. Um, we come in, take care of business, um, you know, we just, Make sure, um, you know, um, uh, just how physical and tough we are. Um, just uh, being able to grind stuff out uh, when it comes to the end of the game. Uh, you think there's no fight left. Uh, I just, we're, we're, I think we've been a team that has to show that we have a little bit of fight. We're going to fight uh, to, to the horn sound. Um, and then, like Tali said, just the toughness. And, out of the game, uh, I think that's, that's, that's something that Dixon just stores in us from day one. Question here from Rob, so we'll get him back up here. Duke and Carolina have been the powerhouses of the ACC for so many years. Do you think you guys, Syracuse, and then Louisville next year can come in and hang with the big boys of the ACC? Lamar, of course. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I think that's what the move is about.